Hey people of the internet, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, Maya, you are on the other side of that thing, again. Hey Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Hedrick made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey, why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sis was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing, well, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Phew. Oh, and you wanted me to get bail money ready. Can you, you can pay for me, okay? <laughs> Don't I have to every time? <laughs> God damn it, Maya. Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I s hear the word bail? Seal? I mean, I guess. Mia? Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. That's all that matters. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. She sounds like she really did do her best. Oh, come on, by her actions, you should give her that credit at least. She did an ass ton for us. I wonder if I'll... I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. I mean, I'm betting she will. I know whether or not she will, but I'm not gonna say that. Okay. You know what? Yeah. Spoiler alert for um, future games for those who haven't played this series yet. Five second warning. She actually does through her... For those who have played the game already know this, but through uh, Pearly, or Pearls, or Pearl, whatever you want to call her, I guess, her cousin in the next game, which I might play, I don't know. Or this way. This way would be considered next. This way is previous. There is no previous game to this. Okay. It's like, what are you looking down at? It's like... I don't see anything. I see my foot. Why are you looking? You're looking at my left foot. What are you doing? What are you doing looking at my left foot, Maya? <laughs> okay, we've already talked about both. Is there anything we can present to her? Probably not. Alright, let's move. Gord Lake. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Let's find out! Going to public beach. Is is Larry still here? Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the Probably off paying through the nose on a date with lovely Kianse. Hey Gumshoe, hi! Hey detective. Hey, pal. The trial today, it er... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I guess I... Well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how, you th how to thank you. You know? Uh, thanks. <laughs> Awkward! Hey. Right. Let's see. Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? 
Sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right. He said something about that in the trial today. Who, though? There's only one other person I can think of just because I played the game before, but who? There were two witnesses. Oh, yeah. He did say that. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? You know he can't tell you that. Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. Watch out! Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard of anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. And him becoming a prosecutor. And him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. DL6. Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father got shot before his very eyes, he still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. I wanted to ask you about my, uh, Maya Faye. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man. I don't know what would have happened in the courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her get dr getting dragged out of the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. <laughs> I don't blame you. You're very close to Mr. Edgeworth, so I don't blame you at all. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved. I, why did I call him Mr. Edgeworth? Miles! He was so moved, I saw his lips tremble. Really? Colt as I said, Edgeworth? I can't believe he believes the rumors. Those were rumors at the beginning of the game. Wasn't I mentioned that? Didn't they mention that? It's just a rumor. He was great. He was really grateful for what she did, you know? I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on my end and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering how much is Vale going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. Whoa! All right, then. <laughs> what? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Like two or three times prior to this one, yeah. <laughs> Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. No. Also, now that... I was going to mention this earlier, but on, but like, so, Gord Lake. This place is called Gord Lake. Um, since, I don't know where this specifically would take place as far as, like, the Japanese version goes, but the translation, the fact that Gord Lake is in the same area where this is, uh, I think it's Colorado where this takes place. A lot of people say California, but there's no lake in California called Gord Lake. However... There is a lake called Gord Lake. I believe it's in Colorado. I'm going to double check. I have my phone right next to me. I just want to make sure. And yes, Gord Lake is a real lake for those who don't know. Gord Lake. Where? It's spelled a little bit differently, I believe. Um, but... Nope, nope. It's spelled exactly the same. So it's actually on like a trail in where is it where is that yeah Colorado it's in northern Colorado okay Gord Lake entrance no, I didn't want to go that way! 
I want to go over to the boat rental. See if there's anything I can do over here. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today, too. Yeah, I figured. Entrance. And let's go ahead and head over to uh, Criminal Affairs. Take two gumshoes, not here. Gumshoes at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? He's a live liar, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not, for not following protocol. Not following protocol. I bet he wouldn't. I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. Doesn't surprise me, actually. All right, let's go to the detention center. Hey, Nick, you finally came. I just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Yeah, the police in this game aren't very bright. <laughs> well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Mm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? Yeah, you're as surprised as I was. <laughs> I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Don't worry, we will. There's going to be a lot of investigating, but we will. Let's see. Is there anything I can get from Grossberg right now? Apparently Mr. Grossberg is on vacation today. Well, I guess I can come back tomorrow if need it, if I need anything. Nope! Okay! Let's, uh, crap. Ah, uh, fresh air. I gotta say, freedom feels good. Behave yourself in court tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Misbehaving's much more fun. Oh, God! Maya! Maya, no! Maya, no! Bad! Bad, Maya! <laughs> It's not going to be so much fun when Edgeworth refuses to pay your bail again. Right, I'll behave. <laughs> good, good Maya. Good Maya, good girl. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm treating her like she's a dog! <laughs> Alright. To the... So what happens if I go back to the detention center? Looks like Edgeworth isn't questioning. Let's come back later. Guess so. I would assume the next move would be Gord Lake. There aren't any many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Mm. Hey, y'all! Hey, it's Lana. Y'all really did it today. What did we do now? <laughs> nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflecting. You might say. I realize that being a witness is mighty big, is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing an old thing, and any old thing that came to mind. Lana! So you see, I want to make it up to you. Make it up? Okay. Guess I went the right way. I guess. What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd be a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. No, but you did get some evidence for us that helped us. I kind of convinced myself I had them. I'm sorry, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a trick. A tricky, big little thing. Yeah, I should know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right. Next time? Thank you, okay. First time. Try that one, Lada. Gordy. What about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stuck in the flames of Gordy Fever. I'll get my exclusive photo and rocket to start. 
Oh, right, thought of you, Coco. Mm-hmm. I wish I could be an investigation photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. Lada, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, y'all see. Actually, I got a bit of information for y'all. What? The Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. Are you kidding me? Well, what information? Now we're getting to the hunt. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. I exchange? Uh, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Alright, alright! I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. And fuck you! Fuck you! I'm just the exception, okay? Yeah, no, I wasn't thinking southerners, I was thinking you. Specifically you. So... I'm in the clear. Well, what'll it be? Gonna deal or not? What do we do, Nick? Alright, fine! We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? Completely off your rocket? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Is it good? Maybe from you is information about Gordy. Uh, what? But, but Gordy doesn't... But, but Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Ugh. I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? See something, y'all? Come to me first, got it? Okay! Right, see y'all later. Okay. Okay, Nick. Let's get hunting. H hunting? You don't seriously mean... Cody. I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Cody, not him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay. How exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. <laughs> no. We just need to find evidence that it wasn't Gordy that was seen that day or something, I guess. That wasn't there before! But what's that? The, the Steel Samurai, Nick. Well, obviously, but- Ah, hey, hello! Yo, Maya! Larry? What the heck is that? Oh, it was my girlfriend, Keontae's idea! She was all- if you like, put this here, it will be, like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Well, that's real impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. That shell's finished now, so she got him for free. Right. Okay, bye. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is close for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. Do you? There's more forest off the way. I doubt I'd find anything help helpful clues in there. Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone's around. It's probably closed because of the murder. So 
boats holding on the docks, the murder took place in a boat from the docks, and apparently the police took away the actual boat that was used at, that night. Indeed, there's space for one more boat at the dock. Okay, well, that was pointless. Why do you look so dead serious? Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgy? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh? Hey, Larry, did you know Mr. Atra's secret weakness? Weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. We transferred schools pretty quickly. Transfer? Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Hey, Larry. When did you get the big thing? Huh? Oh, that big guy? I've had that for about a month, yeah? It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. The, the compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit by my... Oh. Yeah, it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I use to put air in the Steel Samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. I hear I thought you'd inflated it by yourself. With his mouth? Oh, Lord. Trash can is empty. At least we... At least the place is well maintained. Wait. I think I know what to do next, actually. I might be wrong, but I think I know. Criminal Affairs? Yep. Hey there, pal! What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's cause case again. Again? Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything besides money, that is. Okay! How's the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See? Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Edgeworth. Gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Gordy. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> you go time. You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh, such a ghost is scaring me, man. Nick. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Rada. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. You went up direct and he got mad. How the hell am I supposed to tell him any sooner or sooner than a... Ugh. I'd literally have to tell him a millisecond after you told him what you told him. Uh, sorry? I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? Well, that was a 180. 
That flipped to 180 pretty quickly. I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Uh, let's see. Okay, give us the guts. Hold on now. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret net weapon number one, missile. M -m missile These are canine police dogs, still in training. Missile! Missile! Here, boy! Oh, So cute. I'm blocking him! How the fuck dare I? Just for a split second. Well, not a split second, but... Hey, fat cutie! <laughs> it's fake, David. Come on. All right. Here he is. Hey, he's cute. Look, Nick. Cute dog. Cute dog. And this will help us... How? Next secret... Next secret weapon number two. A fishing pole. How is that supposed to help us? Here. This is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe. Looking for a monster. Yeah. Are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. I'll take the dog. Thanks. Okay, this next one is the last one. Oh, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our, cho by our choices. Secret weapon number three. A metal detector. That one actually might be useful. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. Are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been eaten eating soda cans. If that was the case, iron would go and it would digest it pretty quickly if it's eating soda cans. At least I hope, otherwise it's dead and it won't matter anyway. Well, which will it be? Uh, can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. Oh god. I can't, can't I can't make up my mind either. For the totally opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose it can't be hurt. Borrow a missile. Can we borrow a missile? Sure thing, pal. Be good to him. So cute! Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. I think I know where to go from here. The entrance. Move to the beach. Hey, Nick. Hmm? Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Oh, oh, right. That little creature of the... Dude! Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. Oh, boy. What's wrong, Missile? I think cannibal it's eating my samurai dogs oh <laughs> wah, wah. my samurai dogs <laughs> wow he ate every he ate every single one I'm sorry Larry sorry sorry don't pay my bills Nick <laughs> it's gonna have to this time Anyway, I think, if I remember correctly, there's more forest out the way, nobody's gonna find anything. Huh. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Doesn't that still samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it's good advertising. Yeah? Something about this still samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? 
Looks pretty well made to me. <laughs> Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fail for this kind of don't fall for this kind of stuff. These still samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. Yeah. Why did I do no, no. Can't talk to you about anything. Alright, well I guess I'm moving somewhere else right now. Lada, hi! Hey y'all! Well, y'all find anything about Gordy? Um, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. It is a little chilly. I I think I have to sneeze. Uh oh. No, no, uh oh. I told y'all no sneezing! See, I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang. That's not fair. You can't exactly not sneeze. It'll trigger on one of the Von Kama's finger snaps now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry is nice, but what about my bill? Nick, pay the lady. All right, all right, God. I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. Haven't I already heard this? So I decided that I can. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that, at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on God. Ah! What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was that a good one? You bet. The Yupish. What? What the hell is a UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh. So you really are a university student. Yeah, well, I'm taking a break from that. Right. Can I present anything to you? I'm not particularly certain what else to do here. Okay, bye! <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Is Grossberg back? Nope. What the fuck do I do? I was just here! Gord Lake entrance. Move. Public beach. Wait, was there a fourth option? No! I'm crazy. I am honestly uncertain what to do. I think I might have borrowed the wrong thing. Hold on. It's getting to the point where I owe a lot of people money, don't you think? Okay, let's see. Criminal Affairs. Talk to Gumshoe. You have to return the other one, I'm assuming, yeah. Borrow the metal detector. For some reason I thought it was the dog, I think it's actually this. If I'm wrong this time, I'll be upset, but I'm pretty damn sure I have to go over here. Yep! 
the, oh god, ow, ow, okay. Ow! The neck! It's peeping, no, it's I just found something. Sure is loud enough about it. Yeah, no kidding! Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Fetch! <laughs> Maya's a fucking dog today. Go fetch! Go, girl! <laughs> Why do I have to check it out? Look! Look! Huh. An air tank? Hmm, the valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Uh, huh? There's something wrapped around the air There's something wrapped around the air tank. Looks like a string of flags. Well, we might as well take... Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Hey! Is this you? What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? Look behind you, dude! It's just like that string of flags around your steel samurai right there. <laughs> Must be a coincidence. That'd be a very, very close coincidence, don't you think? There's strings of flags everywhere these days. Okay, fair enough. Like elementary schools. A and used car dealerships. I live right across the street from one. Well, not right across the street, but pretty damn close. There is not a one there. To inflate something. You know that thing behind you? You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Uh, inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. <laughs> now, why, why would you go asking me a question like that? Starts to start biting his fingers off. <laughs> Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um, see, the compressor I always use was on the fritz, as you said earlier. So I tried using the tank to inflate it just once, and uh, it didn't go so well, as I suspected. Ask more. It didn't go so well? Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little bit more elaborate? Come on! Look, it's embarrassing. So I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us, tell us! <laughs> you, bad girl! Bad Maya! Bad! Well, actually, no. Good Maya, but bad Maya. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. It's like what I said. The compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the... Oh, God. And then... Well, that ain't good. Well, busted open and made the incredible noise. This incredible noise, and that tank there took off like a rocket. And it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gourd Lake? Sure scared me out of my gourd. That's for sure. You just did. Ugh. <sighs> okay, I've got an idea of what I think I remember what to do next. Can I see her, please? Here! I gotta show you something. Yep! 
But I have to say, exact I know exactly squat about that. Okay, talk to you about Gordy now. What are you going to do? Okay. It's the same dialogue. Okay. Well, that didn't work. What if you got a picture of Gordy? And it turns out like this and Lucky did. Yo, crazy! A blurry picture like this doesn't make it his story. I need a picture that screams I am Gordy. Hear me wrong. I can't turn something like this into the paper. What kind of fool do you think I am? Y'all think I am? Kind of fool that would turn a blurry picture in as evidence in a murder trial. Not to mention claiming she saw something she didn't see. Okay, well... Maybe I can talk to Larry about a couple other things. No, no, not you. You are not Larry! Um, so the ticket is still sound when you were trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? Well, as that happened on the 20th or so. 20th, a week ago. Now, as far as I can see, the tank went flying out into the lake. It's probably the last thing I'm gonna do, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Keonse gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. The night of the murder. Flew away out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. you no kidding! But you see, I went home before midnight. Why do I get the feeling a lie? So you didn't know about what happened? Nope. You're lying. It's too bad. It's not all bad. It's not all bad. You solved one mystery, at least. Mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. Yep, I was just a little bit ahead of myself. Okay. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info you need. Y'all need. Y'all got the skip on Gordy for me yet? We found him. This would be an asshole thing to say. We found him in the shore of the tank. Let's do it. <laughs> huh, Gordy? Oh, we found him already. What? I haven't seen any monsters yet. Y'all for real? Gordy really exists? Wait. Wait, I need proof. You got a photo? Oh, I have no photo, but I have proof. Of course I have proof. Well, fair enough. It wasn't when I went to the bathroom, was it? That's when you made contact with Gordy. Wait, when did you go to the bathroom? Larry's air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. <laughs> um, excuse me? <laughs> what exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here, a hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. He used this air tank and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time. couple was taking a photograph of that lake. This photo... Wait! 
so you're saying that Gordy is really the steel samurai? Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lada. No, it's okay, you win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor Lada. So tell us this information you have. Promise is a promise, I guess. I haven't heard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental shop up the path. Boat rental? Yeah. You know, the place we've been like seven or eight times since the beginning of this trial. <laughs> Is someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lana. You will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah. The night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know? Right, right, right. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the link. I figured it wouldn't be much of it used as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, might not be helpful at all, but yeah, take it. I mean, she did say it might not be helpful at all, so I mean, bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lada. Yeah, I know! <laughs> It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into sh- <laughs> No! Mind! Stop it! Brain! Stop it! Okay, so I guess the only thing left to do is just go over to the... Boat rental! Hey Nick! This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out anyway. Okay, there's still quite a bit that needs to be done, I know that, so I'm just going to leave this video here. I'll continue doing the investigation and hopefully finish it up next time. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you got any suggestions for me for any other um, visual novels that you want me to do, just let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to check out any of the ones that I've done in the past... Uh, click the box down over there. Otherwise, if you want to check the rest of the playlist for this game out, if you missed anything, or you want to just watch the rest of it anyway, click the box across from my head over here. In the meantime, I'm out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!